Okay, here's a topic that a lot of you want to hear about, and that's all about teeth whitening. Now, this is a vast topic, so I am going to split it up across four parts. But most important, obviously, is part number one, which is safety. Is tooth whitening safe? When we talk about tooth whitening, we're not just talking about one particular protocol. There is the in-office protocol, which usually lasts about an hour in four cycles. There is the at-home whitening protocol, where a bleaching tray or a whitening tray is given to the patient. And, of course, there's the store-bought over-the-counter whitening kits. Do they all behave the same in terms of safety? Well, not really. Multiple studies have shown that the in-office whitening is extremely safe as long as those manufacturer instructions are followed. Essentially, we do not exceed the application time of the whitening agent. We make sure that the gums are protected with the barrier and we get really, really nice results with no harm done to the teeth. The at-home whitening, which is the one where we make whitening trays and give it to the patient, these are also extremely safe. They're usually at a lower concentration of the peroxide and this is also shown to be extremely effective as long as the patient follows the recommended time. Typically, that's two weeks. You need to inform your patients to not go beyond two weeks because then they could start damaging the tooth. So a lot of these studies, which we went through to the naked eye there doesn't appear to be any change in the enamel roughness or to the softness or anything like that but when they went in with a scanning electron microscope they were able to notice very very minor changes in the tooth structure following whitening but this quickly reversed on exposure to saliva and fluoride which we have in our toothpaste till part two i hope i've confused you enough till the next time we meet this is the dental review guy signing off for this one